and we are going to have more on that deadly crash in just a moment. But first, we do have a follow-up now to a story we've been following since last night. A Virginia Beach family is mourning the loss of their nine-year-old son. Someone walking along the beach spotted Giovanni Combs' body near 34th Street around 2 a.m. In search and rescue crews, they spent yesterday searching for Giovanni after he and his brother went under near 21st Street. Crews rescued the older brother, but could not find Giovanni. Tending your size, Melanie Woodrow, talk with the boys' family members. As beachgoers began winding down yesterday afternoon, search and rescue crews sprang into action. In the air, in the water, and even from on top of these tall buildings. It's not even five minutes we were in the water. And my cousin, she comes up to us and she's like, where's my brother? 17-year-old Shanice Reed was in the water when her nine-year-old cousin and his older brother got swept up by a wave. My sister, she tried to go help him because she saw his arm flailing above the water. So she pulled him closer and then some a stranger, she, he tried to help too. That stranger was Maurice Francis. I'm trying to get him in the water, but the water is going on top of my head. And when I came up again, it was up to me to get, save myself because the current is so strong. And I reached out to get him again. He was gone. We're thanking him and, and, you know, God bless him and his family because out of a thousand people, only one person decided that they should help this child. Denise Reed is Giovanni's aunt. He was amazing. He's an amazing little guy. You know, um, he's very energetic, very sweet, very humble. While happy to share their memories, the family wasn't ready to share pictures of Giovanni today. The young man had big plans for his future. He had a lot of potential. He wanted to join the military. The family said Giovanni was not a swimmer, but they never intended to go past thigh-high water. I just miss seeing him because he was joyful in our lives. Officials say if you get caught in a current, don't struggle so you don't tire yourself out. Instead, swim parallel to shore. shore. Most importantly, now non-swimmers should not go in the ocean because the water is so unpredictable. Some really good advice.